My son did a school project in his computer class and what it is, it's an automatic uh, plant moisture detector. Uh, it uses the Raspberry Pi over here, uh, this detection module, this is the soil probe, and then uh, this is the most basic version. I'll do some advanced versions on this, uh, but what this does is the light turns on when the soil is dry to warn you that the plant needs watering. So that's it, we'll do close-ups, we'll look at the software, we'll make it work, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. The general view of this is we have the, our wires connecting our module over here, and then onto our sensor probe. What we have is the white wire is connected to pin one on the Pi, and the black wire is connected to pin six. That's the ground, and this is a uh, three volts positive. And the gray wire is connected to pin 40 here, which will be our uh, uh, sensing pin, if you will. It's going to be the data pin. Now these come over here, and on this module, make sure I keep this in focus, we will have the VCC. Again, we'll get closer on these. The white wire is VCC, the black wire is ground, and and the gray wire is our uh, sensor, which is D0 um, on the module. From there, these two wires, there's a plus and minus, but it doesn't really matter because the module or the probe itself is not, uh, is not polarized. But then it comes over here and connects to the probe. Then we'll go around to the other side and we'll look at the LED. So here it is from the other side. We're looking at our LED part of the circuit. And the positive side of the LED will go on uh, pin 7 and pin 9 should be the ground, if I remember correctly. And the blue wire is the ground, the negative on the, uh, on the LED. And the green wire will be the output pin, is a better way to say it. And it will supply power when uh, the pin is turned on. Um, so yeah, that's a much better way to say that. Okay, so that's from this side, and of course over here we're looking at the uh, USB input and the HDMI output. Okay, so again let's uh, look at some close-ups on the, uh, on the uh, sensor boards. This is our sensor board, and we can see here is pin 1, this is a 3 volt, goes to the VCC. The black wire over here is on a ground, it goes to the ground here, and then our D0 wire is the gray wire and it goes down to pin 40 over here. Going back this way, this is the adjustment and I haven't messed with this. Um, you don't want to over adjust it. Uh, I've seen another one of these got burned out because uh, it was adjusted too far one way. Okay, so that's the adjustment for sensitivity on the probe. The probe again has a plus and minus. I don't know if you can see those on camera, but it doesn't really make any difference because the probe is nothing more than uh, well, it just, these two wires come down, they connect. This side goes over here to these, uh, this contact, and this connection goes over here to this side. And it's just a double-sided thing. Uh, this side, both sides are connected, and this side, both sides are connected. And that's it, it's pretty, it's a pretty simple uh, probe. This is a close-up of that probe, and you can see here, and down here where the metal has been attacked. Now, this probe is just a circuit board. You know, it's a copper circuit board and it's been plated with solder, solder's lead and tin and some other stuff. Um, so yeah, lead is toxic. Uh, you don't want to put this in any kind of a food bearing plant or anything, you know, where the, the uh, food will be consumed because the lead from here is going to move into the soil and it will be taken up by the plant. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, this is good for, you know, demo. But if you are going to make something, uh, you know, more robust, and also this is, this is decaying just after a few hours of use, if you're going to do something and you want to really make it work, uh, you're going to have to replace this probe probably with something made out of stainless steel. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's, that's the uh, close-up on the uh, probe. Let's do a demo. So here is our Raspberry Pi over here. Here is our LED light. 
uh, here is our sensor board and you'll see one green light over here which is power another green light will go on and off over here which is the D0 uh, high so in other words when D0 is active um, and then of course back here is our sensor and a glass of water so let's uh, just just do this so we'll dip this in here you see the sensor the D0 light goes on the LED goes off we take it out three seconds goes by we're pulling on three seconds and you see the LED come on in the background you can see kind of a fuzzy version of what's happening when I dip this in here it will say wet turn water off and it gives a date and time and then when I take it out three seconds will go by it will say dry turn water on and so that's pretty much it the LED is telling us that we need to turn the, the water on so again this is the simplest setup where we have a manual uh, system but the computer is tracking for us the uh, need for watering our plants let's take a look at the software let's go over the code it's not very long it's just a little bit over one screen length um, it starts up here with the comments basic program to monitor soil moisture that's what it is VCC pin 1 is 3 volts uh, sense pin is 40 and ground pin is 6 as we've seen in the other part of the video uh, this will activate the LED pin 7 when the moisture is low and we've seen that uh, per earlier the probe contains lead and heavy metals also miswiring your pie can damage it and the sensor so uh, use this at your own risk first of all we uh, import the rpi.gpio as gpio this is just so we can use those pins and then we're going to import time and date time so that we can uh, use the clock now let's scroll down because that's not really the rest of it's much more important so the first thing we do is we do the GPIO setup moisture pin we define as pin 40 and LED pin is pin 7 the GPIO set mode we're going to use the board mode uh, I know some other people like the other but I almost always use board mode GPIO.setup moisture pin so again pin 40 uh, will be the GPIO in this is where our sensor is going to send data to the Raspberry Pi GPIO setup LED pin so that's again pin 7 as we defined it here GPIO out that's going to turn the LED on and off that's the that'll give 3 volts out when that uh, pin is active so we're going to define the uh, sensor so this is uh, a, a function we call it sense uh, and the parameter is moisture pin so we're going to pull the moisture sensor uh, date time equals date time and all this so what we're going to do is we're going to pull a formatted date from there as you may have seen uh, on the screen behind when we were looking at the demo and then it's quite simple if GPIO input a moisture pin so in other words if it's dry we're going to turn on the LED and we're going to print a message to the screen so here we print the message and here we turn on the uh, LED. Now, uh, if it's wet, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to print wet, we're going to turn the water off, and we're going to do uh, GPIO pin 7 low. In other words, we're going to turn the LED off, and then we're going to return back from this routine. And the main routine is just an infinite loop down here, infinite loop, uh, sense, and then calling it uh, via moisture pin, and then we're going to wait three seconds. So this will repeat, this loop will loop every three seconds forever until we break the routine. Okay, so that's it for the uh, software details. So this is our basic soil moisture sensor setup. And it is very basic. There's a lot of changes we can make. We talked about how we could change the probe. Uh, one of the things we could do is instead of turning on the blue light only, we could turn on something like, say, this little water pump. Um, and actually water the uh, plants as long as the uh, soil sensor says it's dry. We could also, instead of just running it for a certain amount of time, run it uh, using this meter until a certain number of liters or gallons were delivered, but then shut it off. And one of the biggest drawbacks of this code, one of the biggest areas for improvement, is the fact that this turns on and off um, like this, as you can see, and most plants, what will happen is, you know, right now it's dry. Now it says it's wet, so you turn off the water. And as soon as it dries out a little bit, you turn the water back on. 
that would flood most plants and most plants don't like being wet all the time. So another improvement we can make in our code is to, for example, just turn the uh, water off, say, uh, water the plants heavily and then turn it off for, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours, whatever the plant needs. So a lot of room for improvement. I've got some ideas on my next revisions of this. Okay, well that was it for our soil moisture set up using a Raspberry Pi. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your gardening and Raspberry Pi experimentation.